Good morning. Today I'd like to demonstrate how to document BMI in eClinical Works in a way that will both satisfy the MSSP uh, 33 rec reporting measures uh, for us in a way that's easily recordable and do it in a way for the end user that's much easier. So let's compare the old way to the um, new way in this. So I've set up some test patients here. Here's a first patient with a BMI over 30. And certainly one way to document the fact that you've counseled this patient on diet and exercise is simply to free text in here or to dictate if you use Dragon. So you, we, we might put in here that the patient was counseled on diet and exercise. So that's certainly one way to do it. You could certainly put more in there if you if you wanted. Uh, obviously, that takes a lot of typing. So most of us have developed some sort of macro or uh, template to enter in the information faster. So I can type in BMI, and it fills in everything I want to fill in. So I've documented that. The problem is, is that this is not searchable. Uh, it's not reportable. It's just free text. So let me show you another way that can do both. So here again, we have a patient with an elevated BMI. This time, though, I've set up a template over here in my template tab, and I've marked it as a favorite, so it'll always show up in my tab. Here it is right here, abnormal BMI, office education. I load the template and with essentially two clicks, one, two, I've documented the fact that I've counseled the patient on diet and exercise, that I have a follow-up plan in place, but more importantly, this is now stored as structured data so it can be searched and reported upon in eClinical Works. So I hope you can see that some of these methods were, were able to demonstrate that we can both record and report on data in eClinical Works in a way, in a workflow that is more efficient than what we're already doing right now. Thank you.